Hello, and welcome to our new high-performance charting components for the Android platform. We've been busy building a prototype charting library, and in this video we're going to show you what it can do, and the kinds of apps it will let you build. And of course we would love to get the Android developer community's feedback on it. Our goal for these components is to have the same great look and feel, and exceptional performance as our other charting components, Shinobi Charts for iOS, and VisiBlocks Charts for Windows. You can find more about these products at the websites shown on screen. We currently support three types of charts, line charts, including area and scatter charts, pie charts, and column charts. So let's take a look at them in action. For this video, we created a simple app running on a Nexus 7 tablet that displays the three types of charts and lets you interact with them. We'll start with the line chart. As you'd expect, all the familiar touch gestures are implemented. You can zoom in and out with a pinch, see how the chart moves with your fingers as it's manipulated. You can pan with a swipe. You can zoom back out to where you started with a double tap and bounce back into position when you move too far. And as you'd expect on a mobile device, this is all done with a lovely smooth motion. The line chart is easy to configure as well. Here we have two series plotted. We can get rid of the area under the green series and just show the line. Or we can turn it into a scatter plot. Okay, so now for the fun stuff. Our pie charts can really bring your data to life. With a number of built-in animations, you can control how you want the pie slices to move as they're selected. Here, the user can choose between bounce and ease in and out. You can configure selection behavior too. Multi-slice selection, no problem. And if you want to add that extra bit of finesse, why not add one of our preset textures? Finally, we want to show you the column chart. The components ship with a couple of beautiful built-in themes, but they're all highly customizable either in code or via XML, just as you'd expect with an Android UI component. This column chart is using all the defaults from our midnight theme, but let's change it so that any values below zero are colored red. You can select two colors to create an appealing gradient effect. Now let's add a white border to make it really stand out. And it's easy to interact with these components. We've added a toggle switch that sorts the data. So you've seen our prototype. What do you think? We've demonstrated just a few ways in which the component can be customized, but there are many more options. Thanks for watching.